Um, my name is Celia Eccleston and I live in Kersley, Bolton. In 1962, I travelled to New York to live with some relatives um, who lived uh, right in Manhattan, in the centre of New York City. And I managed to get a really exciting job working for the main airline, Pan American World Airways, who were based in New York. Um, so as well as the interesting job I had, I got involved in voluntary work uh, working with the local church, uh, visiting people who lived in the really bad parts of New York, i.e. the Bowery, and also um, in the social scene, which was skiing and the beach life and social activities, which were really interesting in the 60s. And I was also very, very much interested in the political times, which was all about the civil rights movement in America at that time, led by Martin Luther King. King. And um, so that was the main thing I was involved in as a young, inspired uh, teenager. And I hear you met some famous people in your time over there. Uh, yeah, I actually practically rubbed shoulders with the president, John Kennedy, on his 45th birthday when he visited the hotel just up the road from where I worked on Fifth Avenue. Um, I also actually met his brother, Robert Kennedy, because they had a, an office in the building where I worked, the Pan Am building. In the same building, um, the lawyer who worked for Liz Taylor and Richard Burton in the 60s when they were going through a divorce also worked in my building and I met them and spoke to them as they were coming down the escalator one day, which was very exciting for me, but not as exciting as meeting Robert Kennedy, who later was assassinated, as you know. Can you tell me why you left New York? Uh, I left New York for a couple of reasons, really. One, my mother was ill in England, but that wasn't the main reason. Um, when President Kennedy got shot, I was actually working for Pan Am. The day he got shot, I was sat at my desk, and um, it, it was profound what happened. It really had a massive effect on me. I realised that America, uh, people had guns and they could shoot you, whereas in England it was very, very different in them days. New York was quite a violent city. It's not so bad now. They've cleaned it up, but in those days, it, as a young 18, 19-year-old, it made me realise how... Uh, frightening it was to be in the United States at that time and I decided I didn't want to get married and raise a family there um, and felt I'd much rather be at home in England where it was safe and people uh, looked after each other. And I hear you've seen a few violent things in America. Oh, I did, yeah. I, I saw a man shot uh, dead on the subway just a few yards from one evening on my way home from work. It was two Puerto Rican lads and they'd been gangs and one shot one. I saw him dead right in front of me. Another time I saw a man throw himself under the subway while I was waiting to go home from work one evening. And that, again, frightened me. With those sights were never uh, seen by me in England, and it really made me realise how uh, violent American society could be. So that had a big effect on me, and I decided I really didn't want my future to be in a place like that. Uh, New York was a really great place to be as a teenager. Apart from the violence, it was big. I made lots of money. The money was far better in the States then than it was in England. And um, Working for the airlines, I met some really interesting people. I had um, access to beaches. I had access to ski slopes in Vermont, uh, parties, which I didn't have in England, out on Long Island, parties every weekend, meeting lots of really exciting people, and just the sights of New York themselves. So apart from the violence, um, yes, it was... It was a fun place to be and a very inspirational place for somebody young like me at that point in my life. <laughs>